Rapper and actor Romeo and his partner Chelsea Hightower. Last Monday, Romeo impressed the judges with a pasa doble full of passion. It was full of attack and intensity, and that I love. But he still found himself in the middle of the pack. I beat my dad. You did beat your dad. Yeah, I beat you. My dad went four weeks on this show, and I think he got a whopping eight on the pasta. So I got a 23, so dad, how you like them cookies? <laughs> I'm not just here to beat my dad. I'm here to take the title. I want to be number one. I love it. I want to be number one. Baby. I love that dedication. Uh. One, two, slow. Not too many people may associate swagger with the Fox Trot. But since I'm the youngest on the show, I'm going to show you can put a little bit of swag into anything. Nice. Now, swagger is good, but you have to make it 60s swagger. It's very Frank Sinatra, very, like, down cool, yeah? This week, we are dancing to the American classic, New York, New York. And our strategy is to come out to honor the era while showcasing Romeo's personality and technique. It's really smooth. But uh, don't bounce your arms. That's not refined. Good, good. Now make sure your shoulders are down. Really important to have nice posture here. I come from the hip hop world, so my posture is usually like. But now my posture got to be like. It's a big difference. Hold up. But I'm definitely working at it because we're in the halfway mark of the competition, and you see people stepping their game up. So I worked all week to make this perfect. So that's it. Thank you. Beautiful. Can we do it 50 more times. Yeah. Let's go. I want to show the judges how serious I am about this competition. I want to show them that I deserve to be on the top. Dancing the Foxtrot, Romeo and his partner Chelsea Hightower. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it New York, New York These vagabond shoes Are longing to stray Right through the very heart of it New York, New York In the city that doesn't sleep And find I'm king of the hill Top of the heap These little town blues Are melting away I'll make a brand new start of it In old New York If I can <laughs> and they clean up after themselves. Len, let's start with you this time. Well, I thought the parts in Hold had control and the parts that, were, that you weren't together had a lot of flair about it. There's still bits and pieces that I'm not 100% happy with, but I think you're on the right road because you're a very charming chap and you always come out and do a good job. Well done. Bruno? Oh, yes, you do have swagger <laughs> and spank and full of flavour. <laughs> I never a foxtrot so cheeky and so well danced because you did all of that and you maintained the style of the dance. Well yeah. done, my okay. okay. Here I am. Okay. I remember week one when you were like so resisting the ballroom and you didn't want to go there and you're like, no, I'm not going to do it. It's not cool. <laughs> that was so cool and so sophisticated. You have your own unique style Thank that you. I just love watching. I've never seen anybody approach the ballroom the way you are. Great. Good job, Chelsea. Good job. Really? Excellent. All right. Romeo and Chelsea will find out what should be pretty good scores after the break. And one of our stars will perform our 1,000 competitive dance.
Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars, American Week. Before the break, Romeo and Chelsea danced a foxtrot. Now, Romeo, you're a really strong dancer, but you're yet to top the leaderboard. Do you feel like yeah. the judges have been too tough on you? You know, uh, they've definitely been tough on me, but that's what I love about the judges that push me and make me want to go harder. And I actually, I wanted to dedicate this dance to one of my friend's mother. She was uh, diagnosed with cancer last week. She watched me every week, and uh, yeah. she said she was going to bring a TV in the hospital and make sure she watched it. So uh, to Cindy Schechter, this is for you. Oh. You and our prayers. So. All right. Let's get your scores right now. Good luck, you guys. Will the judges please reveal their scores? Carrie Ann Inaba. Nine. Len Goodman. Eight. Bruno Tomio. Nine. 26 out of 30, which is your highest score so far, and it also puts you in the lead with Chris. How do you feel about that? It's feel amazing uh, to show you that God does work in mysterious ways, and now I'm dancing. <laughs> I'm dancing for America now. You know, All I really right. love doing this, and I want to show them that I'm going to continue to work hard. Congratulations, you guys. Good Thanks. for you. They want you to use up all your votes on them right now. You can do that now, or you can wait until the end of the show, and you can have an opportunity to see all of the dancers and use your votes wisely. Tom? 